what's up it's Philip and let me show you today in this video how to set up this uh, Niagara VFX uh, this uh, water system very very easy to set up and very easy to uh, make it work and it will collide with your uh, player and with other objects I'll show you everything so don't worry and uh, let's uh, let's go first thing that we want to do is to go to edit and go to plugins and type in over here fluid and make sure that this Niagara fluid is enabled so just restart your engine after that we can just easily right click anywhere over here and uh, choose this Niagara system and type in 2D over here and choose this grid 2D particle system collisions I'm sorry and click create and you can just rename this to be for example water and uh, go control shift to save everything and if you drag and drop it over here you can see that we have our uh, particle system uh, ready but we have this ball we will need to change that to remove everything uh, just double click on your uh, water particle system and over here we can delete this one this will remove the ball from our uh, simulation and we can remove this here and if you go back to the third person you can see that we have now our system functional uh, we have a one problem that I run into it uh, this means if you want to make this bigger uh, if you go over here under the scale and uh, press this lock button and hit 5 by 5 by 5 nothing changes so to change the size of this water we need to type in over here size and you can see this world grid size let's go with a 3000 like this with something like this and now we can position this to be in the middle of our level like this you can increase the uh, depth as you can see it automatically changes colors it is super super uh, exciting and super good so we can go like this and now we can go and save everything and hit play from here and uh, you can see that uh, uh, we have our water but we want this to collide with our character so we can see the uh, ripples on our water and to do that we need to select water on the right side let me just delete this and type in tag and you can see that we have two tags that we need to add it's a collider it's already over here so we can just copy this name and under the actor you can see advanced tags just add one tag and it will be also collider so make sure to add this and hit save and now we go back to our content and we will find our third person uh, blueprint so double click to open it under the viewport you can see this BP third person character self make sure to select it and we will now connect uh, tags that you can see here with the tags in our third person character so we can connect our third person character with the water so they can interact so just type in tag and you can see in mesh tag it will be our collider so just paste it and under the actor you can see tags just add again the collider make sure that you don't uh, accidentally add some other letters or something like that this needs, needs to be exactly same with all the caps or non caps and click compile save go to the third person map and play from here and we have our uh, interaction but it's a little bit uh, too harsh too big too strong so let's go back to our water system over here let me stop this simulation and over here if you click this shallow water emitter you can go over here select this sim simulation and change this velocity dissipation to be 0 0.006 save it expand this emitter update and choose this 2d essay update sim attributes delta time and multiplier so let's slow the water to be 0. Uh, go back to the emitter summary and go to collisions over here and under this collision velocity multiplier you can type this to be 0 0.5 you can always place with these options to find your uh, perfect uh, simulation this is uh, just for presentation so you can always change that never mind okay let's compile and save this and let's test it out right click over here hit play from here and if you move we have a nicer uh, simulation and this is for the character but what if we want to you know kick this uh, item kick this box and see the effect on that box 
it's very easy all we need to do is to select the box and over here also type in tags and make sure that we have all the same tags add collider tag over here tag also add collider so it will connect just like we did with the third person character and if you hit play from here you can kick the cube and it will also have this effect over here and this is it from this video i hope you learned something new today if you find this video helpful don't forget to drop some likes and comments below and subscribe for uh, more uh, videos uh, like this thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye